Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to be doing another leak code problem and this problem is called the set mismatch. Now I hope you guys enjoy me, you know, doing these leak code problems. So, if, you know, if you guys are doing any leak code problems and you're you're stuck on one or something like that, let me know and I'll try to, you know, solve that and put my solutions up here. Let's dive into the problem and let's go ahead and read the first description. The set S originally contains numbers from 1 to N, but unfortunately, due to the data error, one of the numbers in the set got duplicated to another number in the set, which results in repetition of one number and a loss of another number. Given an array nums representing the data status of this set after the error, your task is to firstly find a number that occurs twice and then find a number that is missing. Return them in the form of an array. So here's an example. Um, essentially, it looks like the input is nums and there's that duplicate number, the 2, and the output is 2 and 3. So they're saying that 2 is the duplicate number and then the 3 is the missing number. So here's some other interesting things that you need to think about. Anyways, so when I originally saw this problem, my initial thought was to do something like this. You know, nums.sort, you sort the nums and then you just iterate over iterate over the nums essentially, something like that. And then you could just because when you're iterating over every number at zeroth index, for example, at zero, you know that the number equals one. And then at one, the number equals two. So at any given point, you kind of know uh, what that number should be. Now, this is probably the easiest and like brute force way to, uh, to solve this problem. But the issue is this solution is like n log n right and log in so it's not like incredibly fast and i think we could do this problem in uh time complexity of n uh, we might have to use a little bit more space but that's fine so the second approach that i thought was you know why don't we separate these two problems and let's first deal with like finding uh just a duplicate number using some form of a set or like a dictionary so a little bit of dynamic programming and then the second part i could do using some kind of mathematical formula um, or we could do something where uh, we could reuse the set essentially create a new set that has all the numbers that it should and then uh, essentially pull them out um, so anyways let's get down to this problem so the first thing that we need to do here, create a new set. So let's say equals a new set. And then what we're going to do here is let's go ahead and iterate over of this nums for equals zero, i is less than nums dot length, i plus plus. And here, what we're going to do, and this pattern that you're gonna see is a very common pattern so look out for it it's essentially one of the fundamental ways to leverage a set to make sure it's essentially saying hey i've seen this number before i've seen this value before so what we're gonna do do is say if nums i mean so if set that has the current num let's just pull out the current number here just so that it's uh it's more readable it's not necessary that you really need to do this, but current num. If set that has the current num, then here what we have to do is um, we have found the duplicate, the dupe. Else, we're going to set dot add the current num. Uh, okay, let's also create results, and then here we'll just push the number results to current num. Oops, result.push current num. Alrighty. So this is the first part of the problem and this is our way of finding the duplicate number. The benefit of doing this is that we don't have to sort the array. By using a set here, uh, what we're doing is for every iteration, every traversal of this for loop, we're taking a look at the current number and we're saying, hey, set, have we seen this number? Right here with this if check. 
If we haven't seen this number yet, then it's a new number, meaning that it's still a valid number to be added to the set. So we go ahead and add it to the set. And then the next time, if we have we ask this question again and we actually have seen that number already, then we know that we found a duplicate, right? So at that point, we could say we found a dupe and we could just push that result, um, that current number into our results. So that's part one. So here's the second part, right? Now we need to do the part where we say, hey, what number was that? Uh, what was the actual number that it was originally supposed to be? When we use this approach, we can't know that by just the context of the duplicated number. So we kind of have to do like another traversal here and then uh, figure it out. So one benefit is this problem, it, one, one key thing that we need to know is that this problem goes from uh, one to n, n being like some number. But the thing is, that means that the numbers will have to go from one, two, three, four, five, six till n. That means we add any, every iteration, we should know what that number is. So essentially we could do a while loop where we start from the number one and then we go all the way up to the length of our array because the length of the array should be essentially the same as the number. So let's go ahead and create like a let i or let i equals zero. Right, let's start from one and then while, mm, let's see, while i is less than equal to less than nums dot length and then I guess plus one because we're starting from one right I might also have to make this equals two now instead of now because our array is not sorted we can't just check the array but one thing we can do is we could leverage a set so now we're gonna create a set that has all the numbers in our current nums and the nice thing about a set is that if you pass in duplicate uh, numbers it will just get rid of that duplicate number so Let's just say const um, uh, num set here equals new set nums. And then here we just say, now we're gonna essentially check if the current number that we are on, the current iteration is in our num set. So if num set i, so if we, so we got to do the opposite, right? So if the current num set is not in the num set, if the current i, then we have found our value essentially, the missing value. So let's go ahead and push that i, and then we'll just return the results. Now because we're guaranteed, based on the context of the um, problem, we're guaranteed that we're going to have this mismatch, um, we could return here. If not, we were we should have returned some kind of like, you know, state saying um, no errors found or something like that or things like that. But in this case, we could just, uh, after we push, we could just push, uh, return back the results. So let's go ahead and run this and see if I made any errors. Oh, looks like I forgot to uh, <laughs> actually use the has function, utility function. Looks like here I forgot to do the iteration because essentially it was doing an infinite loop, right? Because I wasn't going up. And there you go. We've successfully submitted this problem. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this programming problem. So my baby's up. So I'm done for recording. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.